Welcome to Voices of the Ancient World, where we embark on an extraordinary journey to meet the dinosaurs that once ruled the Earth. Join us as we dive deeper into the rich tapestry of the Mesozoic era, unveiling the stories of these magnificent creatures. Hello world, it's Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Tyrant Lizard King in the flesh. With my powerful jaws and colossal teeth, I was the apex predator of my time. Roaring through the ancient plains, I dominated the food chain with sheer might and ferocity. Fun fact, despite my short arms, I was a skilled scavenger too, making the most out of every opportunity. But there's more to me than just raw power. I was a complex creature, a caring parent, and a social being. Recent discoveries suggest that I may have been more social than previously thought. Living in family groups and coordinating with my fellow T-Rex for hunting success. Imagine the tyrant lizard king with a soft side. Greetings, I'm Velociraptor, the misunderstood hunter from the Cretaceous. Feathers were my signature look, and my pack and I were tactical geniuses. We might have been small, but together, we were a force to be reckoned with. Did you know we used our sickle-shaped claws not just for hunting, but also for climbing and slashing through obstacles? Let's debunk a myth. The Hollywood portrayal of us being solitary hunters is a bit exaggerated. We were actually quite social and lived in family groups. Our teamwork was crucial for taking down larger prey, and we communicated with a range of vocalizations, making us the rock stars of the Cretaceous period. Triceratops at your service. With my three mighty horns and frill, I was the herbivorous marvel of the late Cretaceous. Grazing peacefully in the meadows, but make no mistake, my horns were my defense against the predators that lurked nearby. Fun fact, my frill wasn't just for protection. Some scientists believe it also helped regulate my body temperature. Let me share a secret about my family life. Triceratops were doting parents, and we cared for our offspring for an extended period. Picture a herd of Triceratops, with the little ones under our watchful eyes, fostering a sense of family and community in the ancient world. Greetings, I'm Stegosaurus, the plated giant of the Jurassic. My iconic plates weren't just for show, they helped regulate my temperature. And that spiked tail? Nature's way of saying, don't mess with Stegosaurus. I was the fortress of the ancient world. Did you know that some scientists believe my plates might have been brightly colored, possibly for display or communication within my herd? But here's a lesser known fact. I wasn't just a grazer. I had a surprisingly complex digestive system that allowed me to efficiently extract nutrients from tough, fibrous plants. My herbivorous diet was a well-orchestrated symphony of adaptations. Hey there, it's Parasaurolophus, the musical marvel of the Cretaceous. My crest wasn't just a fancy hat. It was my instrument for communication. Living in harmony with my herd, I was all about spreading good vibes in the ancient world. Fun fact, some researchers think my crest may have also helped me produce low-frequency sounds that carried across long distances. But there's more to my story. Parasaurolophus herds were dynamic communities, and we engaged in complex social behaviors. We communicated through a variety of sounds, creating a symphony of life that echoed through the ancient landscapes. Ankylosaurus here, the armored tank of the Cretaceous. Covered head to tail in bony armor, I was practically invincible. My tail wasn't just for show. It was my personal wrecking ball against any troublemakers in my neighborhood. 
Fun fact, while I was primarily a herbivore, I had a taste for tough, fibrous plants, thanks to my robust jaws and grinding teeth. Let me take you deeper into my world. Ankylosaurus herds were like fortresses on the move, with adults providing protection for the young ones. Imagine the ancient landscapes adorned with a procession of armored giants, a spectacle of resilience and unity. Greetings, I'm Spinosaurus, the aquatic giant of the Cretaceous. With my crocodile-like snout, I ruled the rivers, a true predator, both on land and in the water. Nature's experiment at its finest. Fun fact, I wasn't just a fisherman, I also had a taste for other dinosaurs, making me one of the most fearsome carnivores in the ancient world. But here's a twist to my story. Recent findings suggest that I may have spent a significant amount of time in the water, perhaps even hunting like a semi-aquatic predator. The rivers were my domain, and I was the colossal king of aquatic realms. Hello from the skies! We are the pterosaurs, the rulers of the ancient skies. From the majestic Pteranodon to the colossal Quetzalcoatlus, we soared through the heavens, witnessing the world from above. Fun fact, despite our size, we were expert flyers, capable of covering vast distances in search of food and adventure. But here's a twist to our tale. Oh, while some of us were expert gliders, uh, others, like the massive Quetzalcoatlus, may have been powerful soarers, covering incredible distances. We were the sky explorers of the Mesozoic, bringing a different perspective to the ancient world. And there you have it, an extended journey into the voices of the ancient world. Dinosaurs, each with its unique tale, creating a vibrant and diverse ecosystem. We hope you've enjoyed this immersive exploration into the Mesozoic era, where giants once roamed the Earth. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of our planet's prehistoric. Keep roaring and ignite the dinosaur inside yourself. Thank <laughs> you.